Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Juliana. I am a third year law student from New York. Today, we are going to do a little plan with me for the month of February. I know that we are already at this point two weeks into February, but I pretty much continuously plan as the month goes on. With law school, it is hard to plan super far in advance. I have a general gist of what I'm going to do, but honestly, day to day things come up or I'm like, oh, I could push this back one day and then just things, it doesn't work out to really like plan for a full month. So I have right now the first two weeks that I'm going to show you how I plan it out. And then at the end, I'm going to quickly go through just my A5 planner that I have. This is not what I use for law school. I use my A5 planner for my personal life and my blog content planning for pretty much all my social media channels. I like having two separate planners. It definitely is a foreign thing for some people, but I started doing it this semester and it's been working out very well. I basically take out my law school planner first and then once I've finished everything in there, I will move on to my blog planner. This is really helping me separate my priorities because I found in the fall semester, I did spend a lot of time where I should have been doing law school related things, working on blog things, and I needed a way to separate those two worlds that always seem to be combined now, <laughs> but... In any event, those are the two planners that I use and I am going to show you how I set up my weekly and monthly spread. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. I hope you enjoy and if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit subscribe so you never miss a video. Everything I need here, all my supplies. Ooh, let's start filling in the calendar here. First planner that I'm going to fill out is my school planner this one i got from target and i love it let's well, buy the brand cupcakes and cashmere for blue sky it's like 11 dollars. i had the same brand last semester and i really liked it i like the layout of the weekly spread because it's so large that i could fit all of my reading assignments in there a small planner just won't cut it if you're in law school and you have so much reading to do there's no way you're gonna be able to write it all into a little teeny square so a big planner is where it's at this one is eight and a half by eleven it's just the size of like a printer paper and it does the job what I'm gonna do is pull up all of my class syllabi on my iPad so then I can fill in my weekly spreads for the next three weeks and then after I fill in the spread I will show you the final product
cannot get over how obsessed I am with this Nespresso. I just made myself an iced nitro and I am so impressed. I can't say it enough. The barista recipe maker, best decision I ever made in my life. This just turned the hot coffee into this delicious, icy I, uh, creation. It looks gorgeous in less than a minute. I swear, I don't understand like why nobody told me about this beforehand, like before I discovered this on my own, because I'm, I literally never have to go to Dunkin' ever again. Matt just loves to go to the grocery store. Normally I'd say, bring me home Dunkin'. No, because Dunkin' does not make this. All right, guys, as we are all planned out, I didn't do the entire month in terms of my weekly spread. I did plan out my monthly view, but for the weekly spread, I just did up to Valentine's Day, so the next two weeks, and then that leaves about a week or so left in the month that I still need to plan out. I know what's going on that week, but I'm also not entirely sure oh the snow is falling i keep thinking i'm hearing somebody i'm not entirely sure exactly what i'm going to be doing because i want to go visit my dad for his birthday hopefully he's not watching this <laughs> so if i fly down to florida it's going to be on the 25th and that's a thursday and so i'm still deciding if i want to stay until sunday or monday monday i have class I have three classes that day so it's crazy and I would be flying during one of my classes so uh, the Wi-Fi is iffy I feel like I could but that's a whole nother story we could get into that if I book the flight and decide 100% because I really want Matt to come with me and he's being a little bit of a party pooper right now anyway so let's just take a look at what I have for my weekly spreads so this is this actual week but i feel like once i post this it's going to be this week so let's do this and also looks much prettier because i'm still working on how i kind of want to make this look aesthetically i've always planned out the same way but now i'm just kind of using my stickers and stuff so i'm working that out so let's start up here this is actually new from my other planner. I never had this up here that just kind of says this week. So I've put all of my assignments and readings that are due for the week. And each class I always give a color. So I've kept it the same throughout my planner and wrote down all of the assignments. And then once I write down all the assignments, then I go and plug in the classes that I have on each day. This is new that I started doing. I'm putting the to-dos for my readings during the week because some of these readings up here I've already completed once I turn the page this week because I'll do them over the weekend. So for example, this is my Wednesday secure transactions reading because I've already done my Monday reading over the weekend. So that's on the previous weeks to do. And I left this little space here just for any reminders that I need to write. And then I've scheduled in when I'm going to do these readings. Here I have my secured transactions for Wednesday. I'm reading on Tuesday, the day before because I have the afternoon open. And then on my break on Wednesday, I'm reading, actually no, I'm watching my conflicts lecture. The weekend I tried to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to look at. I split it up on the right here. I'm just gonna put any notes or reminders, things that aren't law school related that I need to do, like laundry, organize, which is kind of law school related, cleaning, and of course, Valentine's Day. It's Matt and I's fifth Valentine's Day together. So cute. <sighs> but just because it's Valentine's Day doesn't mean the work stops. 
What I've been doing seems to be working, so I'm continuing reading for my Monday class on Thursday. Then I have to do some work on Themis for bar prep. Again, Friday, I have conflicts I have to read for and do the quiz. I have to watch an evidence video for my bar prep course. And then Saturday, more bar prep. And Sunday, I just have to make sure that I've finished the bar prep work. And just quickly of how I set up my monthly overview, I only put, I used to put actually all of my classes on here, but it just became way too much. And I know what classes I have that day. So I really only put these like any important assignments that are due, any important dates like birthdays. Um, here I put my trip to Florida. And then up here, I do have a graded assignment that's going to be due. And this is my bar prep work that is due that day. And I don't have class on President's Day. So I marked that as well. But that is basically it. I like to keep this more simple. And just any of my accessories, I have most of these linked on my Amazon shop page, which I will have linked down below in the description box. My little dots, these are from cloth and paper. Also my sticky notes that say urgent to do. These are also cloth and paper. The page flags I can write on, that is Amazon. I have a bunch of them linked to my Amazon shop. My colored transparent page flags, which I love these. These are Amazon linked to my shop. And same thing with my sticker book, Amazon and linked on my shop. <laughs> my planner, as I said, is from Target and I have that linked on my like to know it page. I seriously love this planner so much and for the price, it's phenomenal. Highly, highly recommend. And also my pens are also linked on my Amazon shop page. Oh, and by the way, my shirt, it says, live, this is literally my favorite quote, live every day like Elle Woods after Warner told her that she wasn't smart enough for law school. Here is my trusty A5 that I got on Amazon. It is a Louis Vuitton lookalike. I really, really wish that I had a Louis Vuitton one and honestly, I would buy it for myself, but it's been sold out literally for months. So I don't know if it's coming back. I don't know if they're discontinuing it, whatever, but this will have to do for now and it's honestly a very good quality for 20 bucks so i'm happy with it and it's really what you put inside the planner anyway so my inserts are all from cloth and paper here i have this morning mindset which i really like oh and on top of that is my inbox cover page or dashboard is what they call it yeah it's a dashboard <laughs> sorry bear with me i'm new to this a5 planning game here but this is like a glass divider or insert and i've seen people put post-it notes on it i've seen people put dry erase marker on it so that's possible i have not used it for that yet so then, yeah, this is where we get into the morning mindset. I really like this because it forces me to think about these questions when I open up this planner in the mornings usually. And I think everybody should at least start their day with just some type of reflection or manifestation because I truly believe that manifesting works. So when you turn that over... I have these card slots, which I really want to put cute card things in. I just haven't ended up buying any journaling cards yet. But for now, I have my sticky flag note thing. <laughs> and then we get into the gist of my planner. 
I didn't even write that this belongs to me, but it doesn't leave my house. So again, cloth and paper, year at a glance. We have the holidays. My monthly inserts are also cloth and paper and they are the glass just like my inbox. So we are done with January. So let's skip to Feb. I have my monthly overview. I already added in my CalPAC collaboration, which already went live. And then if we move forward towards the weekly spreads, this is where I will plan out my weeks. I tried to plan out the beginning of February and then I stopped. I really need to get better at it. I did a little bit here. And then here we are now. What I really want to do is batch content ideas for at least two weeks. Sometimes I get to the end of the day and I am struggling to even think of an idea to make a TikTok. And I'm like, well, I guess I won't. And I really do need to be consistent on that channel because that's really what gets me consistent growth. So with that said, I'm going to find some TikTok content ideas, think about that, brainstorm. I also want to make sure that I plan out my Instagram posts and my vlogs for YouTube. So I'm focusing on those three social networks. I don't think I really need to plan out any blog posts. If that is something you guys want me to focus more on, definitely put it in the comments and let me know. So I am going to start planning now. And when I am done, I can kind of like talk you through my process and that's going to be it. four minutes but this is where I have gotten so far and I've planned out pretty much my YouTube and TikTok posts which is really nice. I got this washi tape from Amazon and I am loving the glitter. It is so cute and I can't wait to use it in my law school planner as well. It's just so pretty. So I hope this is helpful to anybody who is thinking about getting another planner or just trying to stay more organized and maybe be less distracted. For me, that's why I have two planners because like I said, I'm just trying to separate my blog life from law school. And once I have my bar prep course picked out, and get a bar study schedule going. I will have a separate planner for that as well. And maybe by then I'll be able to have a Louis Vuitton planner. Fingers crossed. So thank you for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye.